Hello, beautiful people. My mom is from the Ediba Oti region in 60 seconds. From my nana. I'm reporting live to you from Nkwanta. They all talked about Chabobo Forest in the Oti region. You've heard of the wonderful wildlife we have here. So today, I'll personally take you around and show you all the beautiful things we have here. Follow me. I'm Jacob Yaboa, Assistant Park Manager of the park. So when we talk about Chabobo National Park, what are the unique things that you have here? Chabobo is so unique in our country because it's the only place we have range of mountains. Okay. And then these mountains have specific natural resources that uh, we need to preserve. And two, two, it is uh, the only transfrontier uh, park in the in our country, meaning it shares a boundary with uh, Togo uh, National Park, named uh, Fazao Mafakasa National Park. And because they share this boundary, animals from each park have free movement and then there's no impediment, there's no hindrances. And therefore today, an animal is a, becomes a, a Ghana resources, the next morning it will be a Togo resources. Okay. And it's so unique. And these animals are protected by Ghanaian wildlife officers as well as Togo wildlife officers. The, the climate here, because of the mountainous terrain you know the rainfall pattern here is so unique our land here is so unique and the particular land we have in the in Kwanta and Chabobo national park stretches all the way to Benin and it's so unique that they they are able to um, keep certain natural resources intact can you please tell us about the tourism statistics of the park with the tourism statistics we have an annual visitation numbers of about uh, 1,005 okay. and with this uh, we have about 70% of it being Ghanaians and 30 being uh, foreign nationals and the Ghanaians we have most of them are the students who come on excursion to our park and then the remaining 30 are the national adults who comes in with their families. Okay. And when was the park established? Uh, the whole thing started around uh, 1986. To it wasn't gazetted as the 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 reconnaissance survey, initial survey to ascertain the richness of the area in terms of plant, in terms of uh, animals, and so it went through surveys and then data analysis but finally around 93 okay. it was fully established okay. boundaries well demarcated so from 93 up to now the park is around about um 27 years okay. yes okay. what are some of the attractions you have oh uh, when you visit chabobo national park uh when in terms of attraction we have two waterfalls. Okay. Two beautiful waterfalls that one can spend the whole day and then have fun. And then we have the Breast Mountain. It's so unique. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> yes. Uh, we will take you there okay. and then you see how these mountains look like. And we have other caves. Okay. And then uh, other, we have campsites. That one can come, those who don't want to use our modern uh, guest house and hotels. Mm. We come with your tent and then you can come okay. and then we guide you as well. Can you please tell us about the history of Chabobo National Park? Uh, Chabobo, in Achude's language, you know, we have different tribes in, in Kwanta district and uh, Chabobo by 
Achude traditional uh, traditions or their tribe uh, meaning going round. Okay. And this mountain, you know, one cannot climb mountain face on or head on, but you have to maneuver your way out. You have to move around so that you can get to the top. Because if you want to climb directly, you will be tired and you can't do it. So, Chabobo, in Achude's language, it is Jabobo, Jabobo. meaning okay. going round. But because as uh, maybe the foreign nationals, they cannot pronounce the Jabobo, uh -huh. meaning going round, then they said Chabobo, Chabobo, Chabobo. Chabobo okay. meaning going round to the top of a mountain. So, what are some of the wildlife? that you have around? Oh, we have a lot of wildlife species. You know, Chabobo is a mix of two vegetations, mm -hmm. the savanna vegetation and then the forest vegetation. So animals that can survive in forest areas are here and animals that can also survive in savanna vegetation, they are also here. So animals like buffalo, we have them what about we have them uh, bush back which people call it deer the animal that Winuba they use for that festival uh, we have red river hawk red frank diker we have the maswa diker we have the um the the pangolins we have the monkeys family that is the baboon okay. we have the mona monkey when you go to baboon firma Apart from the black and white color boss and mona, we have the mona as well here. We have the black and white here. We have snakes of different species. Snake? Yeah. <laughs> uh, which they are amazing. The royal python. We have the African python as well. We have the green mambas. And we, we conserve all this because the food chain, we don't want to break the food chain. Therefore, all these animals have to be conserved, including mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> so, if if a tourist is coming and the person wants to come and spend some days with you, where would the person lodge? Do you have a lodge facility? Yes. As I said, though we haven't reached the, the full development of the park, but we have a guest house in the park, okay. especially the, uh, the main headquarters of the park. Okay. to host our visitors who want to spend the night uh, with us. Okay. And then we have also a developed campsite where one who doesn't want to use our guest house can, with a tent, can easily come and then stay with us and enjoy nature okay. with us. Okay. Thank you very much sir, for having us. Now you've made us aware that the name is uh, Chabobo, not, not Chabobo, Chabobo, meaning going round and round. Okay. So now, viewers, you've heard it all from the senior man himself. We are now going to have a feel of the mountain, the waterfalls, the biking and hiking as well. So, tag along and have a feel with me, okay? <laughs>
Now we've come to the end of our tour at Chawubu National Park. The hike from the Laboon waterfalls to the Breast Mountain was adventurous but fun. The park is unique because it shares a common border with the Togo National Park, where the animals from Togo migrate to Chawubu National Park, and the animals in Chawubu National Park also migrate to Togo. We have animals like the bushback, the waterback, the buffaloes, and the dikes. Chawubu National Park is a place we recommend for sightseeing. Contact us for your booking on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube at Folk Diary. Chabobo National Park is an experience to remember. See you in my next episode.